It was a disaster. Hi, my name is Radu Kiru and I'm a digital adoption manager. Today we're going to talk about disaster recovery. Why did I say that so happily? Probably because I know you will handle it. Let's see what disaster recovery is and how to use it in your projects. Disaster recovery is the process of preparing for and recovering from a disaster. A well-designed DR plan lets you recover quickly and provide business continuity. It's important you consider this as a part of your cloud project, as it's shared responsibility between you and Oracle Cloud. Let's see what are the types of possible scenarios that can cause disasters. Application failure. Issues related to changes in software or hardware configuration. Monitoring will help you a lot with this issue. Network failure. It is recommended you have sufficient redundancy for your network, like having multiple IPsec VPNs or having both FastConnect and IPsec VPN. Data center failure. Some of the regions have multiple data centers called availability domains, so you can span your resources across them. Region failure. But whose fault is that? Maybe our CEO that is speeding? Most probably not. Region failure is usually created by a natural disaster. In this case, you can create a multi-region scenario to back up your data and even set up a fully active-to-active -active standby in another region. Recovery point objective refers to the maximum data your company can tolerate losing. As an example here, a blog that you are posting once a week can tolerate more than a bank that is having thousands of transactions per hour. The recovery time objective is the maximum length of time it should take to restore your normal operations. The DR solution you choose depends on many possible requirements, including availability, RTO, RPO, and data durability. Backup and restore. The most basic methods to make your files redundant. You can create a full backup of your files or an incremental one, manually or automatically and you can create it in the same place or from one site to another. Most used scenario being from one region to another or from on-prem to cloud. In this picture, you have examples on how different types of storage and databases can use that option. A wide range of services are using object storage as a way to replicate their files in another region, called standby. A redundant replica of the environment is replicated at the DR site. The called standby environment is activated just if the primary system fails. This approach provides production continuity with a well-defined activation time for the switchover. A pilot light consists of the core critical components of your application deployed at the DR site and containing the latest application configuration and critical data. These core pilot light components can then be used to restore a production size environment in the event of a disaster. For a fully functional recovery with pilot light, you might need to start additional non-core services, scale up others before everything will be up and running. And that is preparing us for the next method, the worm standby. A worm standby that is a scaled down version of a full production environment that is always running at the DR site. The worm standby solution is an extension of the pilot light. It reduces the activation time because some services are always running at the DR site and they can start taking workload while others are still provisioning. If a disaster affects the primary site, you can quickly restore services by scaling up the DR site. Last option, which is an active-to-active -active configuration, which is the deployment of a second identical live infrastructure, which continuously replicates from the first one. When carrying out maintenance on the underlying compute infrastructure, Oracle ensures that only one fault domain is impacted at a time. This practice ensures the availability of your instances in the remaining fault domains. So we recommend distributing your instances across multiple fault domains to achieve high availability. To run applications on compute instances in two regions, make sure the image is available in both regions. In the DR site, deploy minimal setup to have a worm standby. Then use capacity reservation to reserve the rest of the required capacity to run all the VMs when the DR site becomes primary. Block volumes. All volumes are automatically replicated for you across multiple storage servers with built-in repair mechanisms helping to protect against data loss. To protect against the impact of the failure or unavailability of an availability domain, 
we recommend making regular backups to a remote region. Also, you can use the cross-region replication tool to automatically and actively replicate your volume to another region. When you create file systems and mount targets, you specify the availability domain they are created in. All file system data is then stored entirely within the availability domain the file system resides in. Within an availability domain, the file storage service uses synchronous replication and high availability failover to keep your data safe and available. To protect against the failure of an availability domain, we recommend making replicas of file systems to a second availability domain in the same region or in a remote region. Object storage is a regional service. Data is stored redundantly across multiple storage servers. Object Storage actively monitors data integrity using checksums and automatically detects and repairs corrupt data. To protect data in Object Storage against regional outages, you can create a replication policy to replicate data from a specific bucket in one region to a bucket in another region. Remote VCN peering is the process of connecting two VCNs situated in two different regions with private IP addresses without routing the traffic through the internet or through your on-premise network. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Fast Connect provides an easy way to create a dedicated private connection between your on-prem data center and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Fast Connect provides high bandwidth options and a more reliable, consistent networking experience compared to the internet-based connections. OCI uses the Traffic Management Steering Police Service to load balanced traffic across regions. Traffic Management Steering Policies can account for health of answers to provide failover capabilities and to load balance the traffic between multiple resources. Autonomous Database is a self-driving, self-repairing and self-securing database. In regions with single availability domain, a local standby database is provisioned automatically in a different fault domain than the primary database. The standby database is a replica of the primary database and may be used for recovery in case of failure or when the primary is not available. Enabling Autonomous Data Guard with cross-region standby provides a solution for disaster recovery in the event an entire region is not available or when the primary database is down for any reason. When creating a database system, you have the high availability option to deploy it with three MySQL instances providing automatic failover and zero data loss. For DR scenario, you can replicate the data from one region to another with the help of object storage. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one.